Microgrid is at the core of the energy change today. We see more and more changes happening very quickly, enabling new customers and new players to enter the market. And we tend to talk about the customer now as a prosumer. Most of the applications we see today in the microgrid field are mainly industry with critical processes, campus and universities, critical infrastructure, and finally we have also the remote locations and islands, which is by nature microgrids. Let's have a look at some examples where we see how microgrid has been tackling the main challenges of our customers. The new energy management system technology we developed together with Siemens for Expo 2015 enables real-time energy management and energy monitoring services. The area had a capacity of 75 megawatts that corresponds to about a city of 100,000 inhabitants. And at the end, the consumption of energy was about 47 gigawatt hour, and we estimate that we could save about 12 gigawatt hour. We also had the possibility to avoid five kilometers of cables thanks to the innovative technology that was implemented in Expo. We provided two NL field components, the building automation system for the pavilion, an energy storage solution for Palazzo Italia, and the EMS, a cloud platform to provide energy monitoring and energy management services to the entire exposition area. What I like most about the Siemens microgrid project is that it provides a work integrated learning opportunity right here on campus for the students in the energy management program. The microgrid control is a key element for allowing Algonquin College to take advantage of its energy assets, those being combined heat and power, a cogeneration system that's four megawatts, on-site solar photovoltaic, as well as electrical vehicle charging, and energy storage. So the key criteria for moving forward with microgrid really came down to the financial optimization, the ability to determine what's more cost effective, to pull power from the grid at any moment in time or to use the cogen. And that's really what was used to justify the business case. The college has a long-term goal to become carbon neutral. The microgrid controller allows us to optimize our energy use and ultimately save on energy costs. It also future-proofs us and gives us resiliency going forward, allowing us to change and adapt to the different types of energy sources that will become available to us in the future. The microgrid ties in the sources of power generation and the new sources of renewable energy into um, a coordinated system and it wouldn't be possible without Siemens microgrid controller. We'll be providing our Spectrum Power 7 microgrid management system and it's a flexible software that allows us to forecast weather, forecast load and then dispatch different types of generation assets according to different sets of variables about a half a megawatt of solar, about one megawatt hour of battery storage, and then our existing biomass fuel cell system, among other sources of generation. Our message to other communities that may be considering a microgrid is, first of all, to find a good technology partner like Siemens, but also that it is a way for them to take control of their energy future. The main advantages and value proposition of microgrid in this landscape is reliability, cost efficiency and finally sustainability via processes that helps reducing the ecological footprint. So the core for microgrid solution is the automation and control uh, solution that we provide because first of all it has the overview of the solution and it enables the basic functionalities of microgrid which is off-grid, resynchronization, fast load shedding. But we also have the need for more advanced type of functionalities, which is used for optimization and interaction with the market. <laughs>